Hi, my name is Amanda, and I am a change agent. A change agent is somebody who catalyzes change within their family, their workplace, or their communities. I think that you can become a natural change agent if you discover what it is in your life that you're very passionate about. I am very passionate about creating change. I'm very passionate about solving environmental issues and about solving climate change. And I get to do that every single day. I am the environmental director for the town of Secaucus. It is a position that I was responsible for creating with the mayor and council. And I am a United Nations representative um, for a foundation that does post-conflict development work. I've been with them for five years. And so that means I get to travel the world once or twice a year to attend international conferences that are related to climate change and sustainability. I actually love getting up in the morning to go to work. It's not something I think that a lot of 27-year-olds can say. Um, but I'm very privileged to be able to do what I do. And it's not just because I get to do what I love every day and make a difference, um, but also because I went through a great deal of challenges and struggles as a young Arab female to get to do what I'm doing today. Up until this point in my life, I feel that I have been telling my story and that it has been incomplete. And so today, I want to tell my full story in hopes that I can inspire other young females, but also people in general, to really understand the importance of discovering who you are, being your true authentic self, and discovering what you're passionate about in your life. I am a young Jordanian American. Both of my parents were born and raised in Jordan. Um, they come from a culture of very rich tradition. Their parents taught them a certain way and raised them a certain way, and their parents were raised that same way, and so on and so forth. So it was only natural for them to raise me in the same way as their first child. Some of the things that I was taught when I was a kid, um, especially looking back at it now, were very young, limited to um, young females. And I'm, I'm sure that you may also agree. Um, I was told things like women are not allowed to travel um, without a male companion, whether that be their brother or their husband. I was told that women are not allowed to move out of their parents' house um, if they uh, weren't married yet. Um, and I was told that if women do go to college, they should either study medicine or law, otherwise there's no point in getting an education, wait home and ask for, uh, wait for someone to ask you to get married, hopefully he'll be a doctor. Um, and so, as a young teenager, I went through a lot of um, self-doubt and a lot of insecurities. It was very challenging for me to accept the fact that my destiny was already made up and I didn't have control over my own life. Um, until my second year of college, I actually came to Bergen Community College, um, when I was taking pre-med courses to become a dentist, and um, I, was I was studying biology too. And I discovered something that made me really passionate in my life, and it changed everything for me. I was learning about how the health of the ecosystem can actually affect public health. And doing my own research, I learned that if the oceans die, then we die. And if we accelerate climate change and continue to burn fossil fuels, that we can wipe out coastal communities, increase disease and illness, and increase poverty and unemployment. I learned that if we wipe out a key species, it could actually affect human life. Something as small as a honeybee can kill us all if it goes. Learning these issues and seeing how much inaction was actually being taken about them, I thought, what could possibly be more important than stopping what I'm doing right now, changing my major to environmental science, and dedicate my life to environmental and social causes? And I did just that. I changed my major to environmental science, which um, I couldn't tell my family for a while. Um, I also became an activist, which is something that my culture frowns upon. Good girls don't go out in the street and rally and march for a cause. Um, but I also made a dedication to myself and a commitment to myself to find a career in sustainability, and if I couldn't find one, I would create one. In 2012, I got the um, first opportunity to travel as a youth delegate with the United Nations to go to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, to attend a climate, uh, sustainable development conference where I can represent the youth of America. And wow, this was the most exciting thing at that point that has ever happened to me. 
but I knew that it was going to be a really significant challenge in my life. For me, it wasn't just about packing a bag and getting a visa and finding the cheapest flight. It was about convincing family members that weren't even living in my state to allow me to attend being a young female who's not married and who, whose brother couldn't come with me to the conference. Today, I am really proud to say that some of my family members are actually very, very, very supportive of me and have changed and transformed. I never thought it could really happen. It wouldn't have happened if I didn't find what I was really, really passionate about. And I know it wouldn't have happened if I didn't get an education. And so I really want to um, convey the importance of educating women and how that can actually change her community and how that can change her family, but also speak to the importance of finding who it is that you are and being your true authentic self and discovering what it is that you're passionate about in your life. I know that it is very difficult to go after your dreams and to dive into massive uncertainty, but I was able to create a career doing the things that I love and creating a positive change, and I know that every single one of you can do the same. And the really cool thing is that millennials are doing that all around the world. We're considered the entrepreneurial generation for a reason. Over half of us would prefer to buy uh, products and services from companies that care about environmental and social causes. Most of us want to work for companies that do not violate human rights. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of businesses that do that, so we are creating our own businesses, we are creating our own organizations, we are creating our own positions within government and within business that speak to our values. Millennials are actually the largest generation on the planet right now, and we have the most purchasing power than any generation that exists today. So what does that tell me? That tells me that never before in American history has there been a better time to find or create a career that is going to do positive changes in the world. I am living proof that doing what makes you feel alive in your life is what will set you free. We are all different and unique. The world needs diversity, not just biodiversity, but the diversity of people and of ideas and opinions. I know that everyone here, if they really were their true authentic self, could make a huge difference in this, on this planet. Be the change, become a change agent. Thank you.